Hey guys, so um, about two days ago, I, I, I prayed a dangerous prayer. <laughs> and um, what I prayed was, I said, Father, give me the same heart, the same love, the exact same capacity of love that you have for your people. And I prayed that prayer and, and, I, and I just started worshiping the Father and, and, and things. And, and about an hour later, this love struck me. And, and it made me weep like a baby. <laughs> it really did. Um, it, I was in a position where I was there and, and, I just, and I just started weeping for God's people. Because when we look at this world, we are not ready. See, we have churches and we're in, we, I mean, we go to church and we, we sing songs and we pray and we say, God, come and save us. God, God come and come to us and take us out of here of God. I want to tell you guys, this is not about a rescue mission. And we should not, we should be, a, we, man, I don't want God to come back right now. I'm, not, I, I'm ready. I know I am ready. But man, most of Christianity, most of this world is not ready for the king. The king is going to come and there are going to be many people who think they're ready for him. They're going to stand in front of him and they are not going to be ready. Listen, we need to go out. People are dying. People are dying because they are not getting the food. They are not getting Yeshua, Jesus Christ. They are not being filled and they are starving. And the reason for that is because Christians are not picking up their crosses. They're not going outside of the walls of the church and bringing the gospel to the people. They are going into their workplaces, going into the shops, going into the world, and they are keeping quiet about their king. Friends, this is something really serious right now. People are dying. People are going to hell every single day because Christians are not picking up their crosses and dying to people so that they can represent Jesus. Because we are, we are putting our kingdoms, our jobs, our businesses above the commission of God. We are putting that above what God has called us to do. What are we kidding? What are we doing? We need to get ourselves in line with the walk of the first disciples. And then we say, God, come God, come God, come God. But why are we saying that when we've got streets of people who are so, it's not people who've never experienced the love of the Father because Christians have never come to them and said, listen, this is who my Jesus is. This is who my Father is. He is love and He loves you and He wants to take you out of this place. We are not walking in that place. Man, man, God is dealing with me with, me with this thing. And, and he's, he's dealing with you too. Listen, you need to open your heart and, be, and open your heart to this conviction. And be like, Father, I want to go into my job and not be afraid of people. I want to proclaim your gospel. I want to pick up my cross and follow you. I want to not be afraid of sharing you. I want to stop being ashamed of the Father. The Word says, I read this last night. The Word says, if we are ashamed of the Father, He will be ashamed of us. <laughs> Listen, man. We cannot be ashamed of our Father. We cannot afford to be ashamed of our Father. Stop shutting up when you, when Father says, speak. When He says, speak, say Jesus in your workplace. Stop shutting up. <laughs> stop, stop not saying anything. The Father is calling us to stop playing church. Stop playing church. Stop going to church and singing songs and worshiping the Father, walking out of the walls of the church and going back to your own life because that is hypocrisy. That is hypocrisy. And the Father is, is, is going to rebuke people on the day of judgment, on the great, at the great right throne judgment for walking in that life. Friend, we need to take this thing seriously. We need to wake up because the King is coming. The King is coming and He's not coming back as a baby Jesus. He's coming back as the Lion of Judah to judge this earth. And if you, if you say, no, PD, that's not who Jesus is, man, go read your word, because most of the Bible is about judgment. And yes, I love the grace of God, and I, and I want to speak about the grace of God all day long. But right now we're in a season where the grace of God is being trampled on. As in Hebrews, uh, we, we trample under the sun, of the, 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 um, under the sun and we, we take it for granted. And we don't understand that the King is just. 
and the king is coming to judge this world and we need to prepare the world for it. We have been called, we are sons, we are called to prepare this world in the same way that John prepared John the Baptist prepared the way for the coming King for when Jesus set his foot on this earth. John the Baptist prepared the world for him. In the same way, we need to prepare the world for Jesus when he comes back as the lion. <laughs> Friends, I love you. This is I'm, I love you. This is why I'm telling you this. I love you. I don't want. I want us all to walk and be come to him and have him tell us, son. Well done, son, well done, well done. And I thank you for what you've done for me. I thank you for truly picking up your cross for me. I thank you for everyone you've touched. God is looking for that. He is not looking for people playing church anymore. So let us pick up our cross, take this thing seriously and walk in a place of righteousness on fire for our King burning and a burning lamp for the world a light to our world around us man if, if people around you don't know you're a christian something is very wrong and we need to we need to fix that right and and friend let's get on our knees in front of the king the only way we're going to sort this out is if we position ourselves in front of our knees in front of the king and say father father i don't know how to do this but i want you father and I want to, to pursue you, Father. Hey, so may God bless you and keep you. And, and may He put the reality of this thing on your heart. May He put the, the weight of this thing on your heart. And may He allow you to see this, the weight of this. I pray all this in the name of Jesus Christ. Have an amazing day. And may God bless you and all that you do.